What's up guys, today we're gonna check out Deathloop on the PlayStation 5. This game is available exclusively on PC as well as PlayStation 5. Microsoft Game Studios and Bethesda have their fingerprints all over this one. So that explains really the $60 price tag. I'm sure a Sony studio would ask for a full $70 for a PS5 title. It's kind of surprising to not see this game on a Series X. I guess only time will tell if we ever see this on Microsoft's home console. The game has been getting pretty good reviews and for good reason. It's really a breath of fresh air and brings forward a lot of new story and gameplay elements. The physics and gameplay are somewhat similar to a Fallout game. I guess that's not a surprise, this game being published by Bethesda. As a next gen title, the game does have respectable loading times. You'll get into the game from dashboard in about 39 seconds. Loading the game using activity cards won't really save you any time. That also takes 30 39 seconds, I guess all it's doing is just saving you a few clicks. 39 seconds might seem long, but once you're actually playing and in the game, there isn't really much in terms of loading times. Respawn from death is pretty fast. The transitions from one area to another, from gameplay to cutscenes, it's pretty seamless. In terms of the performance, there's three modes. All three have dynamic 4K resolution that is upscaled. The first mode is performance, and this is really the default visual mode. There's no ray tracing, and you do get a stable 60 FPS. Second, there is visual quality mode. This does improve the graphics fidelity, however there's no ray tracing and even though it targets 60 FPS, you do get frequent drops. The third and last mode is ray tracing. Here you do get the higher visual graphics and of course the big thing here is the ray tracing. The frame rate though is much lower and it's locked at 30 FPS. My honest opinion with the different game modes, it's actually really difficult to even notice any difference. Even if I zoom in here and compare the different modes, you can barely see a difference. That might be because the resolution in all three modes is upscaled 4K. You would sort of think ray tracing mode has enhanced lighting reflections, but nope. I personally couldn't really tell a difference. Also, I did get the game freezing on me from time to time like you see in this instance right here. So there's definitely some performance issues with the game that needs to be patched up. Deathloop also makes good use of the PS5 DualSense controller, so there is advanced haptic feedback. The adaptive triggers also get some good use when you're using weapons. And of course, the built-in speakers on the controller are also used pretty often. Overall, this game is definitely worth picking up and one of the top next-gen title exclusive at this time. For the rest of the video, enjoy this gameplay. It's all in 4K, Ultra HD, and 60 frames per second. I'm done. 